Sit to put their phones on silent. The event has commenced with the ceremony. positivity and the beginning of the proceedings. This age-old tradition adds a sense of reverence and significance to the occasion, setting a tone of enlightenment and unity among the participants. May I kindly request everyone to rise for the playing of Kulbeet. Thank you. जयति जय जय जयति जय जय कान कालोक अनुपम श्रेष्ठ सुंदर देव्य दिल्ली विश्व विद्यालय विहंगम जयति जय जय जयति जय जय कान कालोक अनुपम सकल वसुधा निज कुटुंब की निष्ठति सत्यम के मंगल दिव्य भावों का समागम जयति जय जय जयति जय जय ज्ञान का आलोक अनुपम भव्य महाविद्यालयों के परिसरों से चिर सुशोभित श्रेष्ठ गुरुजन कर रहे छात्र और छात्राएं दीक्षित सद चरित्राचार पावन साधना संकल्प संयम नवल वैश्विक चेतना नव कांति संस्कारों का उद्गम जयति जय जय जयति जय जय ज्ञान का लोक अनुपम श्रेष्ठ सुंदर देव्य दिल्ली विश्व विद्यालय विहंगम जयति जय जय जयति जय जय ज्ञान का लोक अनुपम ज्ञान का आलोक अनुपम ज्ञान का लोक अनुपम ज्ञान का आलोक अनुपम थैंक यू एवरीवन प्लीज सेटल डाउन नई दिशाओं की ओर बढ़ती हुई यह एक नई शुरुआत है इस सफर में शामिल होकर सपनों को पूरा करने की चाह है इस छोटे से परिवार में नए दोस्त नए ज्ञान और नए अनुभव का इंतजार है ग्लिमर्स ऑफ द सन सेम्ब्रेस ग्रेस दी हराइजन एंड एज द वर्ल्ड अवेकन्स टू अव डे लेट आर राइज टू ग्रीट इट अस्प्लेंड एंड रेडियन मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टूडे of knowledge wisdom and womanhood gaiki college has a rich legacy of academic excellence and a proud tradition of nurturing future leaders since the founding year in 1967 we have been committed to providing a transformative educational experience that empowers our students to become well rounded individuals ready to embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead as you set foot on this temple of education alongside us prepare to be guided and mentored by our exceptional faculty members their wisdom encompasses a spectrum of knowledge domains and they are here to cultivate an environment of vibrant learning where curiosity reigns creativity flourishes and the art of meaningful conversations thrives enthusiasts of the arts and the avid seekers of creativity Welcome to the realm where imagination knows no bounds. The mesmerizing world of Gargi College. Chaliye, is safar ki shurvat karte hain Samranjani dwara Maa Saraswati vandana ke saath.
हेलो Thank you, Samranjani, for this mesmerizing performance. Now, we would like to introduce you all to the guiding light of our institution. With her unwavering commitment to education and her inspiring vision for our academic community, she has played a pivotal role in shaping the educational landscape. Principal Professor Sangeeta Bhatia to share her insights and wisdom with us today.
very good morning ek bahut hi sadar namaskar aur abhinandan heartiest congratulations welcome to each one of you to gargi college a big round of applause for yourself from our myself and uh, when i say myself i say that i stand here on behalf of all the stakeholders of gargi college our esteemed colleagues your teachers as well as the non teaching staff as and all the ways that you can see when you entered the gates today how we have maintained the campus and i'm sure that already in the first few minutes you're feeling that you made the right choice am i right yes so thank you for that a very good morning to each one of you once again to this very happy and exciting day of new beginnings and your families as proud as they are of you as we are and if they are joining us virtually this time this morning i also congratulate them and look forward to sharing the upcoming years for transformation and growth of each of their daughter and each one of you as ours as well you heard some ranjini our saraswati vandana a group that presented it beautifully to give us a rendition rendition of the wonderful day that is today which is auspicious vidyarthi comes from vidya and of course we know the goddess of vidya is our very own saraswati so by paying her our homage as well as when you heard the kul geet that's the song of university of delhi it represents the 100 years of legacy it shares the values that each one of you will be imparted that you become global citizens of the world and we pay homage to our university so that we do everything it takes to keep our university proud of us and to become citizens of nation building so when i begin with choosing gargi when i say that gargi is here right in front of you everything is new for you today a new building a new city for many i'm sure there are quite a few who've traveled miles to be with us here today a few of you emailed us very warmly how happy they are but they would be also joining very soon they could not be here as of today due to some unforeseen circumstances so they're going to be class rooms because it's an educational institution but you're also going to find very many new friends this institution will be your safe space and it will be there where you will find the tree of knowledge where it has spread with deepening roots over the past few decades you've come to a place gargi if you have already watched on youtube some shorts some reels you must have also searched who was gargi who is gargi what is gargi you will understand because you will experience her spirit you will see the intellectual vibrancy you'll see the spaces of asking questions no question is something which is not worthy of asking so a curious curious mind the values that we impart are of collaboration and mutual dialogue within the classrooms as well as beyond that is something you will see in our mission as well as in the vision of the institution when you'll enter the main arc so you enter today from gate 2 because as you see that there's a construction of the new academic block going on currently and we have we are hopeful it will be up and running and for us to use in the next 3 4 months so the gate you entered from is gate 2 for the auditorium and when the gate opens up which is number 1 you will enter and see the visual that you had before this slide right here and we have placed the mission and vision there where you will redefine yourself and your life that each one you discover your own passions we don't go with education which says one size 
fits all. It's all about each one of you, what you find your passions, where you find opportunities to explore who you are through add-on courses, through societies, our uh, Young and Dynamic Students Council will all talk to you about that. And the extensive experience should be a journey of discovery for you. So what are the thrust areas? When I say that Gargi College, you are here at one of the best institutions of the country. And when we're looking, and when I'm talking about the great pride that you all will also feel as we do so, because your teachers are the best and the very best. Their qualifications, their vast knowledge, and the exposure that they will bring to you will result in nothing but academic excellence. Academic excellence will come from meaningful teacher learning engagement. You will find inspiration in their lectures and your interaction with them will bring it knowledge beyond the textbooks because they have written books, they have published widely, they have taken undertaken research projects and they'll involve you as well in their research projects of international and national repute and even have patents to their name. So uh, when you have that academic excellence, research cannot be far behind. Experiential learning. You are our second batch of the NEP 2020. We already begin in the true spirit of the NEP education. We bring to you every facet that is expected of giving you a learning that is rich by experience, values, and skill enhancement. You'll have the opportunity to undertake research through Pathfinder projects or to attend conferences as well as to have publications. We will offer you stipends and the means to undertake research and collaborate. But to accomplish this and more, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So what do we offer you? What support do we give you? We have your resources to maintain your well-being. These resources would help you, give you the tools to navigate challenges, to just pause and reflect, and also give you and arm you and empower you so as to the conflicts and the challenges that many of us or any of us can face at any time, how best can we be resilient? How best can we understand that, diver that difficulties doesn't mean failure? Difficulty means reach out and seek support, seek guidance, seek help, and for that, each and every teacher is there as a mentor for you. And when we look at accomplishing this, we also have our non-teaching staff. You can see amongst the slide right up there, the number of students and the number of students, we cannot, be, we cannot run such a huge educational institution without the support of each and every one listed out there to provide for all the ways and means that your learning is seamless, that there is a smooth, uh, you know, right from when you enter Gargi College, when you exit in the evening, you have found that comfort where you found the joys of learning and expressing yourself. Education also remains a bit meaningless if it only is based on getting good grades. Because what transforms the society, I'm sure all of you would agree, is how to evolve into being a better human being, to being more humane. It is this constant journey, a growth of discovering yourself, not only your strengths, but how you can actually reach beyond the college, beyond maybe through community outreach. How can you actually transform other lives around you? The values that actually surround us based on sensitivity, based on compassion, based on kindness. These are the dialogues that we will have each and every day with you so that we all have a sense of shared spirit because we want to make lives better not only for ourselves but also for those maybe not as fortunate as us here today. 
So where else would you find the diversity, actually, when I talk about again and again that we are 5,000 plus, where do you all come from? So we represent the past students on the map that you can see. Do you see any state of the country that is not represented? No, right? So you see that the, uh, we have from far and wide the entire nation coming together, our youngsters traveling miles and distance, some of you may be first time away from your home and from your families. But what you will find is the richness again of your friendships, of relationships, of connecting bonds that will last you a lifetime and more. Not only nationally, we have international students as well. We celebrate each and every festival in a rigorous fervor, a celebration of the, you could say, the culture, the arts, the languages, which helps us to understand one another in a more better way, in a deeper way, so that each one feels more inclusive. We also offer by way of our journey, if you look at the journey, our growth from 1967 to being a college with two courses and barely a few teachers, which you can count on like, you know, one hand or two hands, is something that we stand here today. So when we look at, we did not so recently, we also celebrated our 50 years and we continue to fulfill the legacy of those of us who established the institution. We honor those, our elders, who helped form, give the seeds to Gargi College, and then we promise ourselves whatever Gargi stands for has been handed over to us, and we'll continue to hand the legacy to the future generations. We're not only an A-plus accredited college by NAC. We also have been by the DBT, Department of Biotechnology and Sciences, a star college in its true sense. One of the few girls' colleges who's one of the first initial colleges, in fact, who was accorded the DBT. A star status. And of course, when UGC a decade ago had started with its center of potential for excellence because of the diverse programs. We also fulfilled the promise that will continue on the journey of excellence in a holistic manner. So how do we do excel? Why do we call ourselves as wide-ranged or holistic? Because we offer all the three streams well, that is for you to see the courses right up there, commerce and sciences and humanities, as well as a BBE and BL led. So beyond the academic courses, so you've already made your choices. You already know that you've been admitted to a certain course. But when all the different courses present their, uh, you could say, seminars, they have their own activities, they have their own societies, you're free to go and attend and participate and be a facilitator for any of the academic programs that are also presented by disciplines not to which you have really taken admission to. Experts of international repute are invited as guest speakers, as well as the add-on courses. Uh, for example, we are, we are already, the registration is open for the Fostering Mental Health course. And uh, that is run by our well-being center. And of course, it will provide you with tools which will help you always and hold you good for a lifetime, if I might say. We talk of warranties and guarantees, but it all starts from when you have something in your, no in your hands as a resource. Your teacher in charges are here today from all the disciplines. You have their names right up there. They will give you a wonderful start and a confident start today in the first time when you go for department orientations, you get to know about the timetables, the courses, the syllabi, the other, and you meet all the friends who've taken the common courses and allocation of the department, the physical spaces are all our incredible teacher in charges. 
Beyond this, I don't want to take too much of your time. It is so much to share and familiarize yourself with today. There are very many other, uh, you could say, uh, resources and facilities. And we can just run by visually through those because uh, there are accomplishments by academic excellence. There has been research. We have the new academic block, which will have new labs and state-of-the-art laboratories, etc. Uh, there is research by students as well. And uh, those students are not only published widely, they go on to uh, follow, pursue higher programs. And you'll find them in higher educational institutes all over the world. So you have a rich repertoire of alumni whom you can network with, who will help you to know how to upgrade yourself, how to update yourself in the necessary soft skills. And the placements are as stellar as any other institution. We are one of the, you could say, uh, attractive as well to all the institutions and the organizations and companies who come to us in big numbers. But before that, we assure you that we train you in a manner that you rise to the occasion and you represent Gargi when you go out to the world to become one of their institutional members. Uh, there are cultural and non-cultural uh, societies. Our uh, students council, they will of course tell you a little bit more about it. There would be orientations for each of those. I urge you to must, you must join, pick, choose, any, but anything that you pick up, it will teach you how to actually balance work, time, leisure, and the limited time you spend in the college. It will bring you leadership opportunities. It will strengthen your confidence. It will give you a platform to showcase and express your talent inter-university, intra-university, and you can travel to places beyond Delhi to take part in competitions wherever Gargi gives you the opportunity, which are very many. Our sports achievers are not the least. You see them up there. International stature. A big round of applause for all those who, have, who show us what discipline is, who represent to us what it takes to become a winner. What they show us, winners and champions are not only about medals and positions. It's also about dedication. You'll see them practicing. You'll find them practicing. We have a huge cricket ground, basketball ground, tennis grounds, an open air gym, all the ways and means where you can stretch your leg along with yoga classes or some meditative sessions as well. I'm sure you'll be able to find the time to interact with our stellar sports people, burst of sports peers, and you'll be able to also learn from them in exchange what motivates them, what gives them the passion to continue day in, day out. And none the least, they bring Gargi so many laurels that we continue to share the pride. And as well as beyond alumni engagement, there are the various ways. And uh, the student support is also provided. Uh, we have proctors. You will be interacting with them very soon. They'll speak to you. Uh, we uh, have a strict policy of saying no to ragging. And we are an anti-smoking zone as well. ICC, we will have workshops. Each of the words, each of the support system here will bring it to you so that you actually understand that it's just not merely on paper. It is something where teachers are there, the support staff, a counselor on campus, and the ways and means you can interact, you can take time, and we are all there for you to ensure any resource that we may be offer, able to offer to you shall be available in a timely fashion. Uh, the feedback also, in fact, if we continue, we take feedback extremely seriously. So it's not only about me telling you this is what we are offering. We are also always all ears to listen to you what you have to tell us by way of modifications, by way of any change, by way of anything new that we may 
offer you. There would be suggestion boxes, there would be opportunities for general body meetings, you have a very able students council, you have union advisors, and they will be there to bring your voice, to amplify your message, so that it's ensured that we undertake it in all seriousness. And uh, the feedback, etc., helps us to continue to evolve and grow. We don't only rest on our laurels, we are distinctive because we follow to the letter what NEP gives us the opportunity for. When you hear the word or you read the word educatedness, it means not only textbook learning. It doesn't only mean classroom learning. It means classroom learning as well as opportunities to enhance your skill, to optimize your daily lives by ha you know, having experiential you know, activities, as well as more of engagement for externship and community outreach programs. You will have a choice of all those programs which makes us indistinctive because we offer to all the streams that come through our portals. And uh, because with the, uh, you could say, uh, I would like to end here or also, but just say if you see an integration of the three there, uh, I had just brought together, but uh, I'm uh, more less on that now because you will find out, uh, I can keep talking about, you know, how uh, incredible Gargi College is and that's our focus. But I want to say that academic excellence, a focus, the thrust areas being research and well-being will go hand in hand and not the least then i would uh, you know say connect to us even on social media our official handles are there i will urge and request you to please follow those uh, handles on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, as well as a website that is upgraded uh, and uh, updated, and we have uploading of information on a very, uh, you could say, regular manner. Please keep an eye out on the social media handles because there is a lot out there. You'll find Gargi College's name represented in different uh, ways, on, but we have our official, which you mean the information is authentic and reliable. Uh, at the end, and not the least, once again, uh, again, welcome once again, heartily and most warmly to Gargi College. I hope you will have a very meaningful uh, time ahead and the years ahead. And Gargi is something which you will internalize. It's just not on degree. You will uphold the values that Gargi teaches you. All the best once again, heartiest congratulations, and be in touch with us on a daily basis as you will come to know more. Thank you so much. Thank you, Principal Ma'am, for gracing us with your insightful and inspiring words. Your speech has not only enlightened us, but has also ignited a spark of motivation within each one of us. With a round of applause, let us warmly welcome to the stage the esteemed president of the Student Council, Devanshi Aluwalia, to grace the stage. <laughs> Devanshi's remarkable dedication and commitment have been pivotal in making this event possible. Her presence, uh, promises to inspire and lead by example. A very peaceful and productive morning to one and all present here. I extend a warm welcome to you all on behalf of Gargi College. As we embark on the new academic session of 2023-24, I, Devanshi Eluwalia, your student council president, am thrilled to guide you through our vibrant campus. A fresh year means novel experiences, challenges, and accomplishment ahead. With your unwavering determination, I am confident we will conquer every obstacle that comes our way. As displayed on your screen, our general orientation is scheduled until 11.30 a.m. 
followed by departmental orientation until 1 p.m. The respected venues for the recession were sent to you via mail and is also posted here for your convenience. Moreover, VAC and SEC orientation will take place on 18th of August from 8.15 to 10.15 a.m. Additionally, the society orientations are planned for the 22nd and 24th of August during the ECA break. You can view the venue on the screen and find them in your email inbox. Now, allow me to introduce the heartbeat of our college, the Student Council. Chosen through a democratic process, they are linked to both administration and student community. They champion your voices, organize wonderful events, and ensure your concerns find a platform. I am proud to present to you the members of the Student Council 2023-24. I am Devanshi, the president of the Student Council. From the Arts Department, we have Shanti Segal as our Vice President. <laughs> Representing the Commerce Department is Tisha Gulati, our Vice President. <laughs> From Sciences, we have Asha Maurya as the Vice President. <laughs> Additionally, ensuring the smooth functioning of our college, we have our proctors. Lovely Pandey, the representative from Humanities, <laughs> and Ruchika Sagar from Sciences. The college will be holding an election for the post of General Secretary, Cultural Secretary, Treasurer, Proctor Commerce, along with the Sports President and Sports Captain of the respected stream. It is my pleasure to introduce our dedicated team of Student Union Advisors. They are here to guide and support you throughout your academic journey. Dr. Manjul Sahai from the Department of Commerce, Dr. Poonam Fragad from the Department of Psychology, and Dr. Jaswinder Kaur from the Department of Zoology. Next, we are fortunate to have our dedicated faculty proctors who consistently have our backs, ensuring smooth sailing for our union. Among them are Professor Aprachita Mohanty from the Department of Botany and Professor Anita Bhatt from the Department of Political Science. Get ready to embark on a collaborative and enriching partnership with our team. I would like to introduce a significant entity within our institution, the Internal Complaints Committee, operating in adherence to UGC regulation, ICC serves as a bastion of justice and accountability, particularly addressing cases of harassment, bullying, and related matter. Open to all irrespective of gender, age, or position, ICC offer a platform for individual to seek resolution comprising both esteemed faculty members and dedicated students, ICC ensure prompt investigations and appropriate measures. Dr. Chaya Sahani from the Department of Elementary Education and Dr. B. Vajanti from the Department of Chemistry lead the committee with unwavering commitment. Whenever you encounter difficulty or find yourself stuck with any issue, feel free to reach out to the student affairs officials. They are consistently available to assist you and provide support. The names of the student dealing officials are as follow. Mr. Manoj Besht, Mr. Jitendra Yadav, Mr. Afzal, and Mr. Akhilesh Thakur. Beyond academic excellence, Gargi plays equal emphasis on co-curricular activities, enabling you to explore and develop your talents, passion, and leadership skills. Our student clubs, societies, and sport teams offer an array of opportunities to forge lasting friendships and create unforgettable memories. Gargi prides itself on its vibrant and diverse societies, which are a melting pot of talent and creativity. Gargi is more than just an institution of higher learning. It is a community where diverse perspectives converge where cultural exchange thrives, and where every individual is valued and respected. Bursting with talent and a zeal to prove themselves, we at Gargi have various performing societies and value-added societies. Starting with the performing societies, Enlivin, unveiling a world of rhythm and energy. Enlivin ignites the stage with Western dance magic. Euphony. Harmony takes flight as euphony's melodies enchant your senses. Shetich, 
where street plays become a canvas and stories transform into art, Shittij paints a vivid tapestry of societal reflection. Nazakat, embrace the elegance and passion of Nazakat, where Indian dance forms are celebrated with reverence. Samranjani, echoing through time, Samranjani's melodies resonate, uniting hearts in the richness of Indian music. Sparks, me, Sparks choreography meets social consigns in artistic realm. Upstage, invites you to a realm where place transcend time, capturing the essence of humanities and struggle, igniting conversation that echo beyond that curtains. Next, we have the value-added societies. Starting with Avni, where nature's melody finds its voice, Avni paints a greener canvas for Gargi. NSS, with every heartbeat, NSS Gargi pulses for social change. NCC, Gargi NCC rooms its youth to be a leader of tomorrow. It trains them to turn out stronger, sharper, and smarter ev after every fall. Quisito, unravel the enigma of knowledge with Quisito, where curiosity meets camaraderie and facts fuse with fun, in a quest to unravel the mysteries of the world. Hughes, step into the realm where colors whisper tales and artistic expression create magic. Quilluminati invites wordsmiths to wield their pen, ignite imagination, and conjure realm where creativity knows no bound. WRC, the White Rose Club, unfurls the rainbow flag of inclusivity. Northeast Society aims to showcase the Northeastern cultural heritage of India. Glass Eye, behind every lens, a world takes shape. Join Glass Eye Cinematic Odyssey. QED, let rhetoric reign and ideas collide in the arena of QED. Iris, strives to inculcate and promote a creative environment in the college through the medium of photography. The Marketing Society, dive into the dynamic world of marketing where innovation meets strategy, where insights thrive and ideas take flight. Samarth, embrace empowerment, foster change. Samarth's embrace envelops, rights, education, and a world of understanding, creating a haven where every step leads to a brighter future. Unmukti, strives to give contemporary young women a chance to honor their potential to grow up free, fearless, and dignified. Izhar, Speak your heart, lend an ear. Izhar offers solace, understanding, and a support. Enactus Gargi, entrepreneurs of change, Enactus Gargi, brings together doers and dreamers where innovation meets action, creating a world where social impact is the true currency. Last but not least, as we embark on this journey together, I'm truly excited that the year that lies ahead. Let us foster an environment where every voice is heard and every member feels valued and empowered. Here's to a remarkable and enriching year ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Devanshi. We are grateful for your efforts and look forward to the positive impact you will undoubtedly make during your tenure. Thank you once again. At this juncture, it gives me great pleasure to extend a cordial invitation to the dais two remarkable individuals who held significant roles in orchestrating discipline, offering guidance, and facilitating the seamless progress of our cultural voyage. Our respected faculty proctors, Professor Aprajita Mohanty and Dr. Anita Bhatt, and student proctors, Lovely Pandey and Ruchika Sagar. Everyone, please join us in welcoming them to the stage. Okay, um, hello everyone, and a very warm welcome on behalf of the college, Gargi College Proctorial Team. The Gargi College Proctorial Team consists of myself. I am Aprajita Mohanty from Department of Botany, a teacher in the college. 
She is Dr. Anita Bhatt from Department of Political Science. She is V2R teacher proctors. With us, we have the two dynamic student proctors, Ms. Lovely Pandey and Ms. Ruchika Sagar. So we, as a team, work together. There is no partition of labor. We all work together throughout to and enforce discipline. Rather than enforce, I would re really use the word that we like that all of us happily mingle with each other without any issues of discipline. So now that all of you are come out from your schools, you have shared your school uniforms, you have the sense of freedom, you do not have a seven to two continuous schedule of classes in college, the different la difference is that you are out of your uniforms and the second most important thing, you have classes and in between free time. Now you must use this free time in a very constructive way. It's not necessarily has to be academics. You can do academics, you can play, you can do anything, but with responsibility. So freedom, first word, second word, responsibility. If you include and put the two words combined together, discipline, and, uh, discipline becomes on its own. So freedom plus responsibility is equal to discipline. And when that comes, there is not much work for the proctorial team. You individuals, all of you become disciplined individuals and are proctors for each other. So I would re uh, really welcome you at this note and I am hoping that you should help us to maintain this discipline. Before giving the mic to the, my um, peers, I just want to say that this college is apolitical. Don't get influenced, follow what you want to follow. If you have a doubt, you can seek guidance from your teachers, from yourselves, from your peers, but follow what is correct. Be true to yourself, be conscientious, and then there will be no issues at all. Second, there is a code of conduct guidelines which is there on the college website under the tab of policies and procedures Please, each one of you must read that. All of you should be aware what we expect or what any college expects from its students. I am certain, I am definite that you all are adults, free and responsible, and I'm looking forward to a very, very positive interaction with you. Thank you so much and most welcome again. Lovely. So I think the student proctor also wants to say some things. I would invite Lovely Pandey to say a few words. Greetings, everyone. My name is Lovely Pandey, and I am Proctor Arts in the Student Council. As your proctor, I welcome each one of you to this vibrant campus of excellence. So there, is, there are many fun-filled activities, and there will be many more celebrations. But with those celebrations, don't forget the discipline in your mind, as the discipline is very most and important thing that is keep to be in mind. So thank you, everyone, and we are here to help you out. And thank you, and enjoy our life, enjoy our, this new journey. Welcome to our Gargi family. Thank you, ma'am. Your dedication to maintaining the values and standards of our institution is deeply appreciated. As we come to the culmination of this meaningful gathering, I would like to invite Devanshi to deliver the vote of thanks. As we come to an end to this event, which marks a great start to a wonderful year ahead, I, Devanshi Elwalia, President of Student Council, on behalf of entire Gargi College, extend a heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed principal, Professor Sangeeta Bhatia, our student union advisors, Dr. Manju Sahai, Dr. Poonam Fogart, Dr. Jaspinder Kaur, and our faculty proctors, Professor Aprajita Mohanty and Dr. Anita Bhatt, for encouraging us to push our boundaries. 
I would also like to thank all our respected teachers, the very efficient non-teaching staff and lab staff for being here today and for contributing towards this event in their own way. Special thanks is also due for our respected support system, Mr. Sunil ji and Mr. Deepak ji. Thank you for all the timely help, sir. A sincere thanks to the student council and the volunteers for working tirelessly and promptly whenever needed. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very motivated and dedicated members who work with a never say die attitude. In the end, I would like to take this opportunity to thank a wonderful and patient event. We hope that you have a fruitful and productive time ahead in the college. We wish you all the best. Thank you. So this is not another speech or a welcome. I just want to add on to the thanks to the students because the team has really worked hard to make today possible for you by giving you a welcome. The logistics support, the infrastructure support. Please give a round of applause to Mr. Deepak. He's there as the administrative officer. He was standing at the gate as well to welcome you. You'll find him in the office. He oversees each and every aspects of the logistics and the infrastructure support as well. Mr. Sunil, who himself is here also. And uh, he has actually worked 24 by 7 to make this day possible in the auditorium where we are sitting with the able convenership of Dr. Sheila Kumari. Thank you, Dr. Sheila Kumari. Uh, the results sometimes are not evident because we don't display the pre and post. Uh, you could say, you know, visuals and changes. But every little bit, because of course, with so many of us always using the premises, there is wear and tear. So uh, again, Devyanshi and her team, the advisors, the proctors, the ICC, but not the least, I really wanted to again end on a very positive note and a heartfelt gratitude and thanks to all the team here who bring us possible to make Gargi who we are. Thank you, Mr. Deepak. Thank you, Mr. Sunil. And thank you to all the esteemed teacher in charges here. Thank you so much. Everyone, now the venues for your departmental orientations will be announced, so kindly listen to them. Uh, applied Psychology Department, your orientation will be in the Psychology Lab. BA Program, your orientation will take place in room number 60A. BCom Program and BCom Honors, the orientation will take place in the auditorium itself. The, uh, for the Botany Department, the orientation will take place in LT3. For the chemistry department, the orientation will take place in room number 50. For the economics department, the orientation will take place in PC7. For the English department, room number 70. Hindi department, 71. History department, room number 51. Life sciences, LT1. The mathematics department, there's a slight change. And the orientation will take place in computer lab 1 and microbiology department in the microbiology lab, philosophy, room number 46. Uh, the orientation for the department of physical sciences will take place in LT2. For the physics department, it will be held in physics lab. For the political science department, it will, uh, it will be held in seminar hall. For Sanskrit, uh, room number 52. For zoology department, LT4. For business economics, room number 72 and for be it, uh, be it uh, room number 49. Thank you everyone for joining us today and kindly move to your departmental orientations. <laughs>